from a dead start, well, you have several variations. Uh, the first category would be, uh, for example, lifts from the floor or from pins. The second category would be a lift from blocks or a box. So, for example, uh, when you have bench press with a block on your chest, okay, bench bl uh, like board presses, or you can squat onto a box, then stand up. That would be one variation of lift from a dead start. Even though you are preloading the muscles, when you are starting the lift, it is mostly unloaded. But the true dead start would be from the floor like a deadlift or from pins, like I mentioned earlier. The main difference between both is that the first category, from floor, from pins, the body is fully unloaded because the pins or the floor are supporting the whole weight and the weight is not transferred to the body. It's transferred to the rack or to the floor. So when you actually have to start the lift, you do are starting from zero tension. There's also no eccentric preloading because you completely, when the barbell hits the lower position, so it's resting on pins, all the energy accumulated and stored in the muscle and tendons during the eccentric is basically lost because you have to reset on every rep from the floor from pins. When you're doing the lifts, board presses, box squats, then yes, you start the movement from a position where you are going from zero activation, if you want, zero movement to a, a maximum contraction. The main difference is that your body is still loaded with the weight. So if I'm doing a board press, the, the bar is lowered to a board, but the, 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 the force, the resistance is still transferred to my body. Whereas in the rack, it's transferred to the rack. My body is not supporting anything. On a board press or on a box squat, the body, the body is supporting the load. So right from the start, it's a big difference because when you do a true dead start, so from floor, from pins, you have to go from zero tension to max tension in the first fraction of a second. Whereas when you're doing a board press or a, a, a box squat, then the muscle are still loaded and because the weight is still on you. So it's not a true dead start. You go simply from zero speed to maximum speed at, at, at the start. So it's not, it's not the same thing. Now I would say that lifts, the pure dead start lifts have less transfer to the bench press and to the squat, whereas it has more transfer to the deadlift because a deadlift by nature is a dead start movement. Whereas the box squat and the board press will have more transfer to the bench press and to the squat. I will, I will also say that lift from pins have good transfer to the military press because it is also uh, not a pure dead start, but it does start from uh, uh, z without the preloading of the eccentric because an overhead press starts here. So, so these two movements, deadlift, overhead press, will benefit the most from lift from pins, whereas the bench press and squat will benefit more from board presses and box squat. It doesn't mean that lift from pins for these movements will not have benefits. It means that it will take longer to transfer the benefits to the actual lift. So you might actually want to start maybe Anderson squat from pins in the first phase, then you do box squat in the second phase, then you move on to your regular squat. That will have the, uh, a better transfer. Or you could do the same thing with bench press. Bench press from pins, board press, press. That would be another, another variation. So you have several ways of doing dead start movements, uh, but the way you do them and how effective they are will depend on the lift you're doing.